like throwing up. If my parents ask me about it, I probably won't tell them the truth because I don't want them to worry that I might get bad again. If my Aunt Helen were still here, I could talk to her. I know she would understand how I'm both happy. Right. Don't you dare cry. Don't you ever cry. You wanted this. Are you punishing me for smoking or for stealing? I'm punishing you for being alive. I can't stop asking myself. Why do I hate myself so much? I used to be so fucking happy. I used to be happy. I don't know what's wrong with myself. I used to be so pure-hearted. That all changed, and I became quiet, unhappy, tired all the fucking time. I don't want to socialize. I stay in bed all day when I can, in sleep, to block out. I used to be so fucking happy. I used to be happy. I don't know what's wrong with myself. I used to be so pure-hearted. That all changed, and I became quiet, unhappy, tired all the fucking time. I don't want to socialize. I stay in bed all day when I can, in sleep, to block out reality. I use music as a way to escape, but it doesn't really fucking work. It just helps. You know, I envy people that are happy. I've got a family that doesn't really fucking family And when they do, I feel like the fucking black sheep I wish I was someone else, I wish I was happy I've got a short attention span, I zone out a lot I used to want to come out all the fucking time But now all I want to do is stay home, locked up in my room Sleeping, watching movies and listening to music I'm starting to fucking hate myself I overthink everything Every fucking thing And this smile that I put on Is so Anybody who's ever gone through depression would tell you that it's not just something in your mind, but rather it's something you feel in your body. As much as it's in your head, it's also in your stomach. Having anxiety and depression is like being scared and tired at the same time. It's the fear of failure, but no urge to be productive. It's wanting friends, but hate socializing. It's wanting to be alone, but not wanting to be lonely. It's feeling everything at once, then feeling paralyzing numb that reveals that small children who are treated badly by their parents will always, rather oddly, blame themselves and not their parents for their injuries. They hate who they are rather than hating those who've done them wrong. Small children immediately notice when they're not loved as much as they might and need to be. They understand nothing of the reasons for this hard-heartedness, but they feel all of the pain. And yet they need to locate some kind of explanation nevertheless. And so they quickly and intuitively settle on one that almost always feels most compelling to them, that they have done something wrong. Why is mummy so agitated? Because they've done something wrong. Why is daddy so cold? Because they've done something wrong. Why aren't they being treated kindly? Because they've done something wrong. Why is their little sister being preferred to them? Because they've done something wrong. I wake up and I think again, really? We have to do this again? If he wants to talk to me, he will. If he doesn't, then I guess that's it. I used to be so fucking happy! I used to be happy! I don't know what's wrong with myself! I used to be so pure-hearted! That all changed, and I became quiet, unhappy, tired all the fucking time! I don't want to socialize! I stay in bed all day when I can, in sleep, to block out reality! I use music as a way to escape, but it doesn't really fucking work, it just helps! You know, I envy people that are happy! 
I've got a family that doesn't really fucking family And when they do, I feel like the fucking black sheep I wish I was someone else, I wish I was happy I've got a short attention span, I zone out a lot I used to want to go out all the fucking time But now all I want to do is stay home, locked up in my room Sleeping, watching movies and listening to music I'm starting to fucking hate myself I overthink everything Every fucking thing And this smile that I put on Is so fucking fake Deep down inside I am slowly fucking giving up I don't know what to do Or how to express myself I used to be so fucking happy I used to be happy. I don't know what's wrong with myself. I used to be so pure-hearted. That all changed and I became quiet, unhappy, tired all the fucking time. And no one likes you. And you're going to end up alone and you deserve it. Because you're a superficial, selfish and prejudiced person. She's had a very hard life. More harder than my life. She hates that she can't control her emotions. She's always mad at her friends over little things. She doesn't want to be mad at her friends. She loves them. But she is so she holds a grudge for an unnecessary amount of time. She knows it's not a healthy way of handling things, but she can't help it. She tries so hard to push her anger to the side and ignore it because she knows it will make things worse, but she can't. She can't control her emotions. In all honesty, I needed that hurt. Crazy how pain helps you refocus on the things that actually matter. I've started making decisions that break my heart, but gives my soul peace. Recently, I cut a few people off, and it did me good. I'm finally starting to look on the bright side of things instead of being so negative all the time or returning negative energy. I can't afford to react the same way I used to. I just move on. I have no more fight in me when it comes to friendships and relationships. I'm done being sad or mad over things I can't control, so if you want to go, then just go. I'm getting my shit together slowly but surely. I'm healing without becoming like those who traumatized me. The peace I have now is worth everything I've left. I still can't believe that at one point in my life I chose to be delusional rather than facing my reality. That shit literally gets you nowhere. I watched you give up on me. You don't think that hurt me? That shit broke me. Say something, I'm giving up on you. Suicide. The word caught your attention, didn't it? The truth is, suicide catches everyone's attention. It's the actions leading up to suicide that go unnoticed. I heard someone say, if they disappeared today, the world wouldn't even notice. Maybe I do just ruin people's lives. I used to be so fucking happy. I used to be happy. I don't know what's wrong with myself. I used to be so pure-hearted. That all changed and I became quiet, unhappy, tired all the fucking time. I don't want to socialize. I stay in bed all day when I can in sleep to block out reality. I use music as a way to escape, but it doesn't really fucking work. It just helps. You know, I envy people that are happy. I've got a family that doesn't really fucking family And when they do, I feel like the fucking black sheep I wish I was someone else, I wish I was happy I've got a short attention span, I zone out a lot I used to want to go out all the fucking time But now all I want to do is stay home, locked up in my room Sleeping, watching movies and listening to music I'm starting to fucking hate myself I overthink everything, every fucking thing and this smile that I put on is so fucking fake. Deep down inside, I am slowly fucking giving up. I don't know what to do or how to express myself. Yeah.